hi everyone welcome to today's class so in the last class of uh, like regular uh, SAP MM S4 HANA classes we have completed till RFQ creation right we have created a RFQ I have shown you one RFQ creation that That is this one we have created 81000071. This one we have created. I have created one more uh, today. So that is okay. So I have created one more today that is ending with 72. Okay, so I have created two requests for quotation which I have sent to the vendor. Okay, basically what the what is the process that we have seen in the last class? We have created one more document. So this document we have created in the last class and same way I have created one more. So it is your task to create a multiple request for quotation. Okay, it is your task to create multiple request for quotation okay so if you want to find out let's say on the table level table level we will be discussing in a separate classes okay each and everything we will be what is the table what kind of tables are there where you can search for the documents or where you can search for the data everything we will be looking into it in a separate class but here if you want to find out let's say i have forgotten what purchasing document or what rfq i have created I have forgotten that one. So how, how did I find it out? So here you can go to the EKKO table. Let me go back. So here you can go to the EKKO table. Here you can put created by your name. What is your username? Basically you can put it over there. Username putting username. Then you can select the document category as A. Okay. Document category A means this is for the RFQ. So if you execute this one, it will show you how many documents I have created. So here you can see 71 I have created, 72 I have created. So this one I have created on 25th, this uh, 25th 02, this is on 25th 03. Sorry for the delay, we are creating a new class after one month itself. Okay, sorry for that delay. I'm not able to find the time. That's why I'm posting some topics in the regular way, but not able to find the time to create a class for you okay so don't worry we will be trying to continue the same okay so now we have two documents there okay we have created two requests for quotation or we have asked for quotation to the vendor two vendors we have asked now what we need to do we have to maintain a quotation let's say after the vendor send us a quotation okay let's say the vendor is sending us a quotation now what we can do we can maintain the quotation price so whatever price they are uh, saying we will be maintaining the price as per the vendors uh, terms okay what is vendor is saying okay i'll be giving you this under 10 rupees or 15 rupees or 12 rupees we will be maintaining that one so how we can maintain so we can go to so we can go to either you can go through the path or if you know the T code, it is ME 47. If you know the T code, you can go there and you can find it out. You can enter it or you can go through the logistics menu. So from the logistics material management from material management, we can go to purchasing inside purchasing. We have this RFQ quotation inside the RFQ quotation. We can go to the quotation in the quotation here. You can see maintain quotation these are important things for next classes uh, not the next classes for the coming things that we will be discussing today so ma 47 is for maintaining quotation ma 49 is for price comparison so here we will be maintaining the quotation then as per the quotation maintenance we will be comparing the price okay now now you can so now you can come to this rfq screen this is the maintain quotation okay so here we can enter the rfq number and just hit enter now here we have to enter a price so whatever price is mentioned by your customer uh, sorry by your supplier you can maintain that price let's say we will be entering 12 here the price okay now here is showing effective price is lower than the material price 20 percent okay so effective price here you can enter the conditions okay so here you can have the conditions 
so in the in the conditions you can maintain different kinds of condition types and different types of condition type here you can mention so condition type we will be discussing in uh, let's say in the pricing procedure we will be discussing but here condition type let's say there are some discounts um, your vendor has mentioned some uh, let's say transportation charges some freight charges some extra loading and um, uh, unloading charges are there so they have mentioned different type of condition type so here you can maintain all those kind of things okay so we are not going into that details so we are just maintaining this gross price as 12 okay so now here you can save this one okay now let's just save this one enter okay so I believe the price has been maintained as 100 rupees or something. That's why it is showing this error. Let's say we will be saying 110. Okay. Okay. No problem. We'll save this one. Let's go to this again, this screen again, slash NME 47. Okay. Now just enter this one. Here we will give the net price as 110. Okay. So now here we will set this. Okay, so don't worry about this one. There is some issue with the pricing procedure, I believe. That's why it is showing us this error. Okay, so mostly you will be not getting this kind of error. So effective price is more than 20%. So there is some price is already there, which is... Okay, let's change it to 20. Okay, if we change it to 20, let's say this one we will choose amount let's say we have entered 20 let's save this one save this one okay so okay so i believe there is some issue with the pricing okay uh, let us check the material pricing once and 100 will check what is the material pricing so here we can go to the accounting one view so let's see okay uh, so the standard price is 100 rupees that's why it is giving us the error okay so now let's maintain some price near about to that 100 rupees okay so we will pry 105 will take One zero one. Okay. okay so this quotation has been maintained okay we have maintained as 101 as the price now there is a second uh, quotation was there so we will maintain that also okay so here also let's say net price we will be entering as 105 okay now just enter this one now 
now here there is an important thing which we need to know okay let us just open the next screen we will see okay now here there is an important thing here info update button you can see there is an info update option is there okay so what is this info update um, uh, button or info update checkbox is there so let's say there is no info record we have already created an info record for this one if you don't have an info record with this material and the uh, let's say the vendor combination you don't have an info record okay now for this um, uh, for, for this uh, vendor we don't have an info record okay now if you set this info update button if you check this checkbox so what will happen if there is a already there is an info record is there it will update the price if there is no info record is there it will create an info record with respect to this price and quotation it will create a info record so right now this is grayed out so you can you cannot maintain so normally you can maintain over this indicator or this button okay so this is an important thing so here you can see if it is blank there is no update if you select a update with or without plant if you select b update with a plant if you select c update without plant no plant requirement okay so this is the info update button so now let's save this one okay so it is saved so both of the things both of the quotation we have saved so now we have entered the quotation now what we need to do we need to compare the price so how we can compare so the same node which we have seen in the logistics so here you can go to slash n here you can go to the logistics here you can go to the material management purchasing from purchasing you can go to this rfq and quotation here you can go to the quotation here you can see price comparison or you can go to the ma49 t code here you can see ma49 t code is there so you can go to the ma49 t code also so here you can select as per the purchase organization also let's say i'll say 100 i will enter okay so here i can mention with respect to let's say the quotation uh, you know the um, quotation numbers or quotation document numbers you can enter it over here so we will go to okay so what was the quotation number We'll go to EKKO. We'll go for the same here document category. We will take as A and uh, created by we will take by me. So we will execute. Now here there are two documents are there. I will copy this and I will go to the next screen. Okay. So here you can if you know the numbers so you can put a from number to number or the documents are not in a serial wise so you can click on this multiple selection button is there okay there is a arrow mark so click on this so in s4 hana you don't see what is the okay so we can put here put here okay just enter enter over here okay now just execute okay now here you can see as per the price it is showing valuation price and rank so this is the rank one vendor which is giving us the price of this one okay 
97.990 it is giving as per the discount and all it is showing as 97.990 and this is the 105 so this is the second list of uh, second rank vendor so similarly if you have multiple vendors multiple quotations so it will show you rank 1 rank 2 rank 3 rank 4 likewise it will show so normally what will happen for this one for rank one vendor you will be going for the purchase order so you will be creating a purchase order and you will be sending to this vendor okay this is the bidder this is the bidder so you will be sending the purchase order to this vendor to rank one vendor and you will be sending a rejection letter to this vendor okay so now how you can send a rejection letter so now this is our this is our uh, let's say uh, vendor to which we are going to send a purchase order now if you want to set this price as a market price also you can just click on right click so here you can select as save market price so if you save this as a market price so it will be considered like this is the market price if there is any fluctuations or anything is there it will consider this market price and it will give you a reference that this is a market price so if something is fluctuation is happening or some other uh, prices have been shared by your vendor so it will show you a information over there okay so now what we need to do we need to send a rejection letter to the vendor for this vendor okay this is the this is our this is our quotation so how we can send a rejection letter so now we will go to a new screen so we'll go to me 47 again you have to go to me 47 enter the rfq number enter it now here there is a rejection indicator is there okay now you have to select this rejection indicator okay now once you are selecting this rejection indicator just hit enter now you have to go to messages now you have to create a message for the rejection so rejection message type is ABSA this is the output type ABSA will be the output type print output we'll select the VN as the same so we will set this as English just enter so now select this one go to communication method similarly you have to select LP01 go back now let's say you'll select this one go to further data here you can select the dispatch time let's say send immediately okay now just okay go back now just save this one now one rejection letter have been sent to this vendor if you go to the display of this one let's say slash n me 48 if we go here enter so here if you go to the messages here you can see the ABSA has been sent out okay so quotation rejection so now we have sent a rejection letter to the first when uh, second vendor who is giving us more price and we have selected the first vendor which is um, uh, sending us a lower price so now what will happen now we will be sending the purchase order or we will be creating a purchase order to this vendor and we will be proceeding with the purchasing process now this process like sending a request for quotation or asking for a quotation or maintaining a quotation and comparing the price and finding out a supplier or finding out shortlisting a vendor is known as the supplier evaluation process or you can say a supplier selection process so these are the vendor selection process or now you can say it as a supplier selection process so that's it for today we will be discussing on the next class we will be starting on the purchase order what is the purchase order how we can uh, let's say what are the configurations for the purchase order and how we can create a purchase order so we will be looking into it in the next classes till then bye bye take care and keep learning